I grew up in a tiny island. It's ocean all around where fish is eaten every single day. That's why I smile because that's how I envision it. Fish is jumping out of the water and you go under the sea and it's full of colors and Nemo's and all the little fishes darting around. It is who we are. I've actually never thought of the ocean as dying or disappearing, so it comes of a bit of a shock to actually begin to think that we need to be looking at an ocean that needs to remain alive. Climate change and economic development in those societies that are rampantly using fossil fuel, the amount of shipping, you know, the one global world that's happening now must have not so nice things happening to the ocean as a result of that. <laughs> we are not going to go down without a fight. My work with the WWF South Pacific program is looking at the protection and the sustainable management of locally managed marine areas and marine protected areas. It is important to get local communities engaged because they are at the forefront, they are there by the seashore and they are using it every day. And I think a lot of the damage happening there too is actually done by them, so it's important to get them engaged. We see ourselves as facilitators really, so we bring them together, we facilitate a process where all the voices are heard, the men, the women, the old people, the young people, in the process of developing their plan. In late 1990s, there was uh, one or two communities doing it. And by now, we have over 200 communities managing their fishing areas. In terms of the, the impact of the successes of those areas, anecdotally they tell us that they're eating more fish, definitely they're more knowledgeable. I'd like to think that it's ensuring food security for those communities and hopefully we here in the cities will be able to buy fish cheaply because they've been supplied to us cheaply and I think that will be the same situation in the rest of the Pacific Island countries.